am the only paediatric rheumatologist in South Australia and around Australia we do have too few paediatric rheumatologists. The current number is 18 and when we think about the population of Australia being approximately 23 million people with about 25% of those being 18 or under then we know that for the most common diagnosis that we have, which is juvenile arthritis, each of us is going to be looking after approximately six or 700 juvenile arthritis patients, and that's not physically possible. So we have too few paediatric rheumatologists. I don't think adult rheumatologists are trained to be, have enough expertise to look after children. There are some specific um, things that are unique to paediatric rheumatology that make it quite difficult for them, incorporating the ideas of growth and development, the issues of patients who are affected by rheumatic disease missing school or having difficulties with completing schooling and also the effects on the family um, and, and their own psychosocial well-being that adult rheumatologists are not trained in. Having said that, the problem is that because the workforce in paediatric rheumatology is so small, the reality is that they do end up looking after our paediatric patients, even sometimes in urban settings. I think the one biggest area that's really growing at the moment is the concept of the auto-inflammatory disease, where these patients who get sort of unprovoked episodes of severe inflammation without cause, many of which have novel gene mutations associated with them, we are now finding that things that we couldn't previously diagnose are diagnosable and we have some treatment algorithms for that's very exciting. And the other big area of medicine in paediatric rheumatology, in particular in juvenile arthritis, is finding biomarkers which can help us uh, personalised medicine more.